All right. Good morning and happy Sunday. Welcome to our house. I got a special helper. Milo's with me this week. Hello. And he came to help me do our song we're going to learn. So this week we're talking about prayer. And there's many different ways to pray. Yeah. Do you think you always have to close your eyes to pray? No. You don't think so? Well, closing your eyes does help sometimes from us getting distracted. If we close our eyes, it helps us not get distracted. But my favorite time to pray is when I walk around the lake every morning. And what would happen if I walked around that lake and I had my eyes closed? Oh boy. With tennis shoes on. I think I would get wet. I think I'd walk right into that lake and splash, have a shower. It'd be silly, right? Yeah. So Milo, this week, we're going to learn about a special prayer. You would and that's called the Lord's Prayer. Prayers. And Milo came in because he's got a really cool song that he wants to teach to all of us. Yeah. To learn the Lord's Prayer. And then we're going to do a story about it. All right, Milo, do you think we should do the song? Yeah. I think so. We're going to do the song. Okay, guys. Hi. Okay, Milo, are we ready to do the Lord's Prayer together? Yeah. Let's go. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. The song, I miss you and I'm praying for you. We do. We miss you all. Yes. All right. I'm going to go right in and to our story. All right, guys. So here is our book and our story this week, The Lord's Prayer. The words of this book came straight from Jesus himself, straight out of our Bibles. But it's illustrated by Tim Ladwig. And illustrated means that they just drew the pictures for the book. And the cool thing is, that there's something happening in the pictures of this book, why it's going on, why we're reading the Lord's Prayer. So let's see if we can tell the cool things that are happening in this story, why we're reading the Lord's Prayer. All right, let's get to it. Look at those beautiful birds. Okay, our Father in heaven. So in the song, you heard us say, our Father who art in heaven, that's just a funny way they talked back then. It just simply means our Father in heaven, who's up there in heaven. Look at this. We've got a dad, and it looks like a little girl. wonder where they're going. Looks like he's got his toolbox. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Hmm, that's a funny word. Do you know what that word means? Holy. So you're just praising Jesus. And look at that picture. It does look, look, it looks like that little dad, the dad and that little girl are going to work. It looks like she's going to work with her dad. That's pretty cool. Have any of you ever gone to work with your dad or mom or grandma or grandpa or uncle? It's sometimes fun. Let's see what happens. Ooh, it looks like they stopped to get some supplies for the job. Maybe some lunch too. Your kingdom come. Look at this sweet lady. Oh, she's looking outside at her broken fence. She's got her kitty cat there. Look at this beautiful necklace around her neck. Hmm. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. That just means that we want God to have control over our life and our world. We want to give him the control. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, 
wouldn't it be so nice if our earth was like heaven? That would be wonderful. Oh, it looks like this little this little lady here and the little girl and her father. Looks like they're showing up to help her. Maybe they're going to help fix her fence. Oh, that's exactly, look it. They're helping her fix her fence. The little girl's painting with her dad, raking leaves. Have you guys ever done anything like this? I bet you all are very, very helpful. Let's see what else happens. Oh, oh, look it. The little girl has found something by the fence she was painting. Hmm. Give us this day our daily bread. Oh, look at they're having lunch. And that's exactly what that line means. It just means Jesus. Thank you for giving us our food. Please take care of us. Also, sometimes when you talk about daily bread, it might mean anything you need to get by. And even Jesus. Give us this day our daily bread. Take care of us, Jesus. Maybe you're asking for something. Look, at it looks like that little girl still has that locket. I think that was the old lady's from before. She's got it in her hand as they're eating lunch. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. So what that means is forgive us if we've done something wrong or if we owe somebody something. Or if we've maybe sinned or hurt someone's feelings, we ask God for forgiveness. And we should be, we should go and forgive others the same way that God has forgiven us, right? The little girl still has that locket. I think she noticed that she doesn't have one on her chain anymore, huh? Hmm, let's see what this little girl's going to do with that locket. Lead us not into temptation. Ooh, I think that little girl realized that that locket belongs to the lady. And I think she might be just a little tempted to keep it. But it's not hers. Have you ever been tempted to keep something that wasn't yours? Sometimes it's hard. But we don't want to take anything from somebody else. That's not what Jesus wants. It says, but deliver us from evil. Oh, yes, the devil would love it if we took something that wasn't ours, wouldn't he? That would separate us from God. And we don't want to be separated from God. We always have to make sure we return things we find. And that's exactly what that little girl did. She made the right decision. Look at her. She was not tempted or didn't do evil, she returned that locket to that sweet lady. Look at that. She made a great choice. I'm very proud of that little girl. Oh, look at, the lady was proud of her too. She gave the locket to the little girl because she made such a good choice. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Look it. Oh. Forever and ever. Amen. You want to know what's really cool about this locket that the little girl's wearing? If we zoom in close. On that locket is the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And that, my friends, is the story of the Lord's Prayer. So like I said before, there's many ways to pray. We can pray with our eyes open or our eyes closed. We can pray the Lord's Prayer. We can pray for those who are hurting or sick. We can pray for things we want or things we need. 
we can just pray and thank God for everything he's already done for us. Those are my favorite types of prayers because he does so much for us. We can pray so many different ways. I had a lot of fun teaching you about the Lord's Prayer, and I'm hoping to hear from you guys soon. I'm going to send you guys over to Miss Brittany. She's got a fun activity for you guys. And maybe I'll have some messages coming my way. Bye, guys. Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Brittany, and thanks for sharing that story, Miss Caitlin. That was amazing. So today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a prayer cube. We have a template below if you guys want to stop this video and go ahead and print it out. Otherwise, I'm going to show you how you can make the cube without having to print anything out. But I thought first, before we do a craft, I have really missed being in the aqua zone. So I'm going to ask you guys to come and join me in the ocean, okay? All right, boys and girls, come on and jump on in. Woo, aqua zone. Let's swim together. Do, 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 do. Swimming under the sea like we're pretending we're at church. Wow, look at all those fishes. Woo. Do, 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 do. Number one, stand up and act like you're swimming with me. Try to reach for those fishes. Ah, grab them. Grab them. Maybe we want to go down a little bit. Woo. Oh, All right, guys, I think I had enough swimming, so if you guys are ready, let's do our craft. All right, everyone. What we're going to need for the craft is either colored pencils, markers, pens, pencils, anything that you want to color your cube with, even stickers if you guys have them. We also need tape. If you do not have a copy of the printout, no big deal. We just need a white piece of paper. But if you print it out, this is what the cube will look like. All right, we're gonna draw the cubes. So the first thing that we need to draw is four squares going down. So we're gonna draw four squares. If you need help drawing, mom and dad or a sibling or someone can help you draw them. We're just going to grow down. We're going to make four of them. Oh, that's a little crooked. It's okay if we make mistakes. That's why I'm using pencil. So I can erase. Alright. After we have one, two, three, four down, we're going to put one on one side. And then one on the other. The last step in drawing the cubes is we have to draw little folds to help tape the sides together. So they're going to be a fold. They're going to be diagonal lines going in and then a straight line to connect them. Diagonal lines going in, straight line to connect them. Diagonal lines going in, straight line can connect them. If it's easier for you, you can always grab a ruler too if you want your lines nice and straight. Get a couple more. Ah! That was bad. Diagonal, diagonal, straight line. And the last one, okay, so we should have one, two, three, four, five, six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven folds. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. All right, now that we have our cue, we can start writing parts of the Lord's Prayer. So what I want you guys to do with me is we're going to start at the top, and we're going to label this one number one, two, three, Number one, we're going to write the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name.
Number two is your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. And number three is give us today our daily Number four is forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. but deliver us from evil. And the last one is number six, and it's for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now that we have all the parts of the Lord Prayer, we can take our time to grab color pencils, markers, and start filling in if you wanted to retrace your letters, if you wanted to add pictures, maybe for give us your daily bread, you could draw bread, whatever will help you memorize the Lord's Prayer. So let's go ahead and start coloring. You're right, I shouldn't worry. God's in control. He knows about everything. Yeah! About the wind and the clouds and the rain they bring Yes, God knows everything God knows about everything Why the grass grows up and why it's green About the corn and the pea and the lima bean Yes, God knows everything He knows what to bring before I bring it Is that so? Smart. Yes, God knows everything. God knows about everything, about who I am and what I'll be. He knows every part of me. Yes, God knows everything. He knows what I bring before I bring it. How does he do it? He knows what I sing before I sing it. And he likes it.
everything's all done, we have to fold. So folding, we're gonna fold on all the lines that you see and even the flaps. It doesn't matter what order you fold because we all have to fold the lines. I'm starting with one. I'm gonna make it five. Folding it over. Once I fold it right, I can put a nice little crease so it's a nice good shape for my cube. And then the flap. Coming over to six, fold it in. Fold in the flap. Fold it up from number three. will be number four going in. Fold it on the line and the flap. Again, you guys can use your parent, older adult, or siblings to help you. Okay, so now that everything's folded, what you're gonna wanna do is with the parent is cut some pieces of tape ready for you. They're gonna, oh, you only need a little small piece of tape. And so before I started, I cut a couple couple few pieces and now we're going to tape one to number six and that flap's going to go underneath. Take that small piece of tape, fold it over. One to five, the flap goes underneath. Grabbing my small piece of tape goes over. So now we have one, six, and five all done. I can go back to number two and three. So I have three. It's gonna the flap's gonna go under the five. And three is gonna go under the six. And last but not least, number four is gonna attach to all the rest of the sides. And I have to push down so the tape sticks. And now we have a fun way to learn the Lord using the cube. You can throw it and see what it lands on. Oh, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. Maybe one of the games could be is oh, what comes after that or what came before it. That way you guys can learn the Lord's Prayer. I understand that it's very long, but this might be a fun way to learn it. Now, I know this was only one prayer, and I know there's many more out there, but me and Ms. Caitlin need your help for next week. Below or on the screen, you will see Ms. Caitlin's email. With your parents' consent, we are asking all you guys to send us a video. Maybe it could be one prayer that you say all the time or like to say. It could also be a prayer request. Maybe something's going on that you guys want us to pray for you. It could also just be saying hi and how much you miss us and miss your friends at Sunday school or maybe your latest bucket filling activity. You don't have to send a video, but you could also explain to us with words and we can still feature the words as well as the video on our next Sunday school lesson next week. Okay. Can't wait to see them. Bye guys.